Reef Fanatics, welcome back to the Coral Reef Talk. In today's episode, we're adding sand to the 210 gallon reef. Let's go. Okay, so today we're gonna be adding a 20 pound bag of Carib Sea live sand. This is the Fiji Pink, and we're gonna be adding that to the already established 210 gallon reef tank. Now this reef tank has been going on about six years now, and it's time to add more sand to the tank. Now over time, your sand will uh, dissipate due to regular maintenance, um, and just the fact that it's sand and it can dissolve over time so you may need to add some sand to your reef tank um, from time to time so finally after six years i probably should have added it a lot sooner but finally we're going to add some more sand to the reef now if you're new to the coral reef talk channel this is where i talk everything reef aquarium hobby related from product reviews to sharing coral advice and just my overall experience of being in the hobby with this 210 gallon reef tank. So if you like what you see, please consider hitting that subscribe button, checking the bell icon to be notified every single time I upload new videos. Okay, so here we go. Here is the reef tank right now. We have plenty of sand over here and sometimes the issue is that your circulation pumps uh, push the sand around and move the sand. Over time, like I said, uh, sometimes it dissolves over time and just due to regular maintenance of siphoning your sand bed or cleaning the sand bed, um, you'll start to lose sand over time and the sand actually acts as a good buffer for your pH. So as you can see down here, we have some old frag plugs and we have some snail shells that have been emptied for quite some time. Here is that nice piece of Gorgonian that I've added to the tank. But overall, you can see there's hardly any sand on this side of the aquarium. If you follow the bottom of the aquarium down, you can see where uh, I have plenty of sand still on this side. Now, initially, um, when trying out different pumps, the pumps did uh, blow the sand around. So it's time, it's long overdue, I know, but we're gonna add some sand to this area right here. Uh, so first things first, we're probably going to have to remove some of these old plugs, get them out of the way because you don't want to cover them up. And then I'm going to see if I can clean up some of this Coraline algae. Uh, the flipper magnet is great for cleaning that, uh, but sometimes over time when you have the really uh, hard calcified areas, um, it may need a little more help than your flipper or magnet cleaner or just a lot more time you would be scraping at it for a while so i'm going to try to clean some of that up as well but first things first let's get to the sand okay so one thing that i forgot to mention before we go into adding the sand to the tank is that there's a couple different ways that you can do it now when adding sand to an established system like the one behind me, you wanna use live sand that has that beneficial bacteria that's gonna um, help, uh, it's not gonna mess anything up in your reef tank. So you wanna make sure you're using live sand. Now the thing with live sand is because it has the beneficial bacteria, you can't necessarily rinse it with fresh water because that's gonna wipe out your bacteria. So you can try rinsing it with salt water if you want to rinse the sand, um, but there's a couple different ways of adding it to your tank. You can either cut the top of the bag and pour it in by lowering it down to the sand bed first and then pouring it in, but that's probably gonna cloud up your, your tank and it's gonna be cloudy overnight. Uh, by the next day, it should be fine. But if you wanna fill up the tank the best that you can and try to not have the tank cloud up on you, you can do at least two ways that I know of. You can take a PVC pipe with a fitting on top that acts as a funnel and you can pour it down and funnel it into your aquarium and then spread it out that way. 
or you can pour it in a cup, lower the cup in, and pour it in the sand bed. Now that's gonna take a little more time. That's what's been advised to me when adding the sand to this aquarium. So we're gonna try the cup method first, and then if it's not working, I may switch over to using the PVC pipe. But these two methods are used so that you don't cloud up your reef tank as much. Okay, so first things first, I had to get in here, get my hands dirty, dig down into the tank and remove these frag plugs and old snail shells and uh, just move them out of the way. My plan of attack right here is to just clear out as much as I can just by pushing it out of the way. So I cut open the bag of Carib Sea and scooped up cup by cup and here's me putting in the first cup. I lowered it down really slow. You can see air bubbles escaping the cup. You can see some sand particles floating around, but I turned it over really slow, as slow as possible on especially the first cup because I didn't want it to cloud the tank up. I think I'm gonna add it all to this spot right here and then I will spread it out when I'm ready. Looks like those air bubbles though. I don't know, still some cloudiness starting after two cups. But I'm not angry at it, I'm not mad about it. I think the goal is maybe a, a larger cup and packing it a little bit tighter. clouding up starting to cloud up a little bit now but your tank being cloudy from adding sand isn't really gonna hurt any of the animals inside the tank unless you're like covering up corals and stuff um, so that's why we wanted to clear out that space in the beginning before we added it and you can see if I add too fast like this a lot of air bubbles from the cup method and then you can see the cloudiness starting to happen there maybe I'm dumping it in too fast some more so I'm, I'm packing it as full as I can on top and then I just don't like how much sand just falls but like I said, it's not really gonna hurt anything. best effort to keep the tank from clouding up you can see behind me it's still pretty cloudy but it's nothing like it didn't take over the entire tank I mean you can still see the corals behind it it's not like it's unbearable um, it seems like it's gonna clear up pretty quickly so we're just gonna leave it at that at the moment right now I'm gonna show you a close-up of how cloudy it is but let me get out of the way so you can see it from a wide angle So you can see using the cup method did cloud up the tank, but not really too drastically. Let's take a closer look. Let me get the camera off of its tripod. Let's come in here close. You still see the leather coral still see the fish, the Binghai Cardinal. 
You can still see the anemones through all that. And they're still out, they're fine, so it's not too cloudy that it's messing with them. Too bad, anyways. And you can see all the other coral are fine. Toes still kind of close up a little bit. The Gorgonian, uh, he's starting to come back out. You can see that. Fish are fine, corals are fine. So the cloudiness of adding sand to your tank is not really gonna do anything to your reef tank inhabitants, so it's perfectly fine. You can see uh, the white sand right here. Look at how fresh and clean that looks. It's just gonna look nice. I'm gonna fill in the gaps here. I didn't wanna pour it over that mushroom. I got some sand on it. I'm gonna have to fan it off. And then I'm going to come in here by the Gorgonian. It's in a PVC cap there. I'm gonna fill in around it. So overall, using the cup method was very effective. However, things still clouded up on me, but it only lasted a few hours and then things cleared right up. So I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch this second episode of the Reef Tank Rebirth series. If you missed out on the first episode, don't worry. Links will be in the description below as well as at the end of the video. But look how clear the tank got and look how awesome the sand looks. I may need to add some more on the other side. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below what your method is for adding sand to your already established reef aquarium. And if you're new to adding sand, don't worry about the cloudiness. It's not gonna bother your corals or your fish. Everything will do just fine. Thanks so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing and commenting. And if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. It helps me out a lot. And I'll see you next time on the Coral Reef Talk.